Rishi wants to buy his first car. He likes a car he finds at the showroom. Salesman How can I assist you, sir? Rishi May I know the cost of this car? Salesman Yes, sir. This car costs rupees six lakhs. Rishi thinks with sad face. Hmm. But I don't have this much money to buy. Where will I find that much money? Rishi goes to a bank and the bank officer explains him about how he can get a loan from the bank. Rishi Loan? What does that mean? Bank officer Well, loan means a sum of money borrowed from someone and is paid back after a fixed period of time with interest. So, you can borrow a sum of money from our bank as back in a fixed time period with interest. Rishi Aha! Uh -huh. This is so simple. So, I can borrow the money from your bank as a loan and can fulfill my wish of buying a car. Bank officer Yes, but remember, you need to pay back the money with interest. Rishi Interest? What is that? Bank officer Well, bank cannot lend you the money just for free. It will charge an extra amount for this service, which is called as the interest. Rishi Okay, but how much would that extra amount be? Bank officer Well, that extra amount is based on the interest rate that the bank offers. Rishi So, how much I have to pay you back? Bank officer Well, Mr. Rishi, we give loans on interest rate of 10% per year. Your principal amount will be rupees 6 lakhs with an interest rate of 10% per year. So, you have to pay an interest of rupees 60,000 along with your loan amount after a year. Rishi was happy and so as the salesman and the bank officer. Rishi bought his car, salesman got rupees 6 lakhs for selling the car and the bank officer got the interest on the loan amount. This amount paid back is equal to principal plus interest. We call this interest as simple interest. Let us now understand how we calculate simple interest with the help of this formula. Simple interest is equal to principal multiplied by rate of interest multiplied by time period by 100. In short, we say that SI is equal to PRT by 100. We have seen that the term principal means the initial money. R means the rate of interest which is expressed in percentage and T means the time period which can be in years or in months. After we calculate the simple interest using this formula, we find the amount which is equal to principal.